All right, guys. Question 87. Okay, so question 87 asks, um, what is the median of the data shown in the histogram? Well, if you look at the number at the bottom here, it says that the, the, it represents the zero packages, but a frequency of five, five, frequent, five packages, um, five values. There were five opportunities where there were no packages. This number one represents there were four ones. There are three twos, three twos, and then there was one three. So to find the median, again, you, you eliminate from the outside in. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, and you're left with a median of one, making B your answer choice. Number 88, Oliver owns a bicycle store. The number of bikes that he sells each month for 18 months is shown. Use a dot plot to display this data. What number of bicycles store per month was most frequent? That's talking to you about the mode. Display the results in the dots plot in the dot plot to be able to explain. Okay, so if I look at the smallest number here, I have a three, I have a four, one, two, I have three fours. Okay, so my smallest number is a three. So I'm gonna start my dot plot here at two, one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So there's, since there's one 3, I'm going to put one dot above 3. Since there's three 4s, I'm going to put three dots above the 4s. Okay, so I've got those knocked out. 5, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 fives. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Knock them out. And then I have a nine. Two nines, matter of fact. Then I have a ten. And then I have a one, two, three, three elevens. Oh, how many tens do I have? Two tens. There you go. I have two twelves. One, two. Knock them out. And then I have a fourteen. There you go. So I have created my dot plot. Now, which one occurs most? You would say, since five has most, five is most frequent. Okay. Number 89. Colleen is training over the summer for a triathlon. The amount of time she, that she spends training display daily is displayed on the dot plot. How many days does, how many days did Colleen spend training? Add the dots. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Making 15 your answer choice here. Okay. So, I have traffic engineer is collecting is collecting counts of how many cars are on the street are on one street during a specific amount of time during the day. The results are shown in the histogram. How many days did the traffic engineer collect data show? Okay, well, I have three days here, seven days here, 13 days here, um, 10 days here, and five days here. So let me add up 13, 7, 10, and 5 is 15, and then 3. Let's see how that adds up to. It's 10 and 8. 18, 38, 38 days. Okay. The dean of the university is looking at the number of students who were enrolled in school during previous years. This data is shown. This data is shown in the table below. 
what do the values, what do the data values represent? Does it, does it represent the, what do the data values represent? Well, what is the title? What is the label of this? Students enrolled. It's the number of students enrolled in each school year. Option D. Number 92. Robert asks, how old are you? To each of his friends, classmates, and then records the data he receives. Which units can Roberto use to record his data? How old are you? He can use um, the days, because kids can be a certain, certain amount of days older. You can't tell the person's age by their inch, nor their weight, which is grams. You can tell it by the months and the years. Ooh, sorry, that one came a little blurry. There you go. Number 93. Three different data sets are displayed on the following chart. Can the number of observations in each data set be determined from its graph? Can the number of observations in each data set be determined from its graph? If so, give the number of observations. If not, explain. So let's look at this one. Let's see, this is the amount, of, you count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 times, so yes. Okay, here, I have two, I have six, three, one, four, I'm sorry, that's my cat. Then I have eight and three. So I have, oops, sorry, you can't see that one. You have nine, ten, eleven, five, um, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve plus four is sixteen, and eleven plus sixteen is twenty-seven, making it yes. Here, can you can a box plot tell you? A box plot cannot tell you. A box plot cannot tell you the amount of observations only the least max median lower and upper quartile okay number Four. The dot plot shows the dot plot shown displays the amount of money in millions of dollars that different companies spend on de television advertising in one year. Which of the following statements describes the data set? Okay, the overall pattern is it skewed left. It's skewed towards the left. No, I would say it's skewed towards the um it's not even skewed, all the way skewed towards the right. It's not skewed left, nor completely right, because a lot of the points are here. The overall pattern of the distribution is symmetric. Hmm. The overall pattern. Well, let's find the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So here's five. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, wait, two, four, five, three, six, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, you could say there's pretty much symmetric because if I put a line between the two, there's they're evenly uh, evenly spread on both sides. The average amount of um, the amount spent on television is ten 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 dollars and ten cents. Well, in order for you to find out if that's true, you would need to add up all the dollars and divide it by the amount of points. And to help you save time, that is not true. This will not give you that. The average amount spent on television advertising is 10.1 million. This one does not say million. 
This is just ten dollars and ten cents. This says million. Um, the median amount spent on television advertising is ten dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so let's see. one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. One, two. So I have ten plus eleven um, is twenty-one divided by two is ten fifty. That's the median. The median amount spent on television is ten fifty. That would make sense. Let me double check. So I have um, a five. Six, seven, six, seven, two eights, three nines, two tens, one, two, three, four elevens, three twelves, two thirteens, and a fifteen. Median one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Oh, okay, I was right. It would make sense, but it's not in millions. There you go. Making this one true. Make sure you read what the label of the graph says to you, tells you to read. Okay. Um, Liana, what does it mean? Plant several plants in your garden. What is the mean height of the Liana's plants? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Okay, so let's add them up. I have 15 here. I have 9 and, nine and 16 is 25. Okay, so then I have 5.1, 12.8, 7.3, 25.0, for this one, 11.7, 12.4, 9, Okay, well, I might as well just do this. Set 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 21, 26, 27, 29. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 points. Hmm, I wonder what I, if I added up everything correctly. Um, let's see. Sorry, guys, my phone. Six nine five point one twelve point eight seven point three sixteen point zero fourteen point eight twenty I'm gonna add these two up, make it twenty point seven. And then you have 12.4. Add them up. 9. 8 and 8 is 16. Plus 4 is 27. 31. 9, 12, 21, 28. No. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. 20 plus 7 is 27, plus 4 is 31. So 9, 18, 25, 32, 38, 
44. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then if I divide it by the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I move the decimal over once, making it roughly 10.4. 96. Gina wants to buy a new computer, so she compares the prices of different computers. The results are shown in the box plot in hundreds of dollars. What is the interquartile range of the prices of computers? Remember, interquartile range goes from lower to upper. So if the upper is 10 minus 5, makes it 5, but it's in hundreds of dollars. So 500. Because this is 100. Each unit represents 100. So 10 times 100 is, a is technically 1,000. And this is 5 times 100 makes this 500 equals 500. 96, making it answer choice C. 97, Fred asked each of his classmates how many times they went to the beach over the summer break. He displayed the data using the histogram. Which statement best describes the pattern of the distribution? Skewed left, it's skewed left with one deviation from the overall pattern of the value of zero. Skewed left with no deviation. Remember we talked about an outlier? That's what they were referring to as a deviation. It's skewed right. From, from the overall pattern of, of the value of zero. Skewed right with no deviations from the overall pattern. Skewed, skewed to the left. Skewed towards the left. If I start to draw a line, it's skewed towards the... It's going towards the left. Okay. All right, this is a fun one. Using the data show, match the measures of the center and spread with their corresponding values. Round your answers to the nearest tenth as needed. All right, well, let's list them. Two. Okay, three, one, two threes. No fours. Five, six, two sixes. Seven, one, one seven. Any eights? No. Nine, one, two, three nines. Ten, one ten. I have one eleven. I have one twelve. Two thirteens and a fifteen. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. All right. So range is large minus small, making it fifteen minus two, which is thirteen, making your answer choice G. Mode, which one occurs the most? Nines, making it E. Median, let's go boom, boom. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. Median, so for 99, median is also 9. Okay. Interquartile range. Well, if the median is here, that means your lower quartile. You boom. So I add these two up and divide it by two. The inter the low the L is five point five. The U is 11.5. For the interquartile range, it's 11.5 minus 5.5, .5, which is 
which is 11.5 minus 5 is 11. 11 minus 5 is 6, making it B. Okay, so the mean is my next step. So 2, 3, 4, 5. 8, 5, 10, 13. Five, eight, thirteen. So there's 133, and we said there were 16 numbers. Divide by 16. 16 goes into 133. 160 becomes 10, so let's try times 8. 16 times 8 is 48. 8 is 12. 128. Perfect. Matter of fact, 128. Subtract makes this 5. 16 into 50. Twice is 32. 3 times is 42 is 48. 16 times 3. 18 for 48, yes. So it was 3 times. It's 1. So if I round this, the mean is 8.3. Okay, so now here's the key thing. You have to subtract. In order to find the mean, let me eliminate the options that I've used. D, E, G, B. Okay, so my MAD has to be less. It's going to be less than 8.3. So I'm left, it's not 12. It's either 3.3 .3 or 7.0. Okay, so you have to take, now you have to take this mean, 8.3, .3, and subtract it from these numbers to find your, the new sets of points. So 8.3 .3 minus 2, 8.3 .3 minus 3, and again, so you have 8.3 minus 5. 6.3 minus 5.3, 5.3, minus 6, minus 6 is 2.3, 8.3 minus 7 is 1.3, um, 8.3 minus 9 is... Well, let me do it. Um, point seven is negative point seven. Again, point seven, point seven, um, ten point zero minus eight point three. I should make this then 1.7, yeah, 1.7, negative, um, 8.3 minus 11 is negative 2.7, 8.3 minus 12 is negative 3.7, but remember it's always positive, because absolute value is always a positive number. Um, 8.3 minus 13 is negative 4.7, and again, and minus 15 is negative 6.7, I believe, let me double check.
14, yeah, 6.7. So your job is to add these up now. That's the tedious part. Okay, add up your, let's add up our, our decimals here. 3, 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 2.1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 7 is 6.3. So 63, 4 is 84. So 4, 84. So 14 plus 10 is 24, plus 5 is 29, 32. 33, 36, 40, plus 6, 46, 52. 52.0. Divided by 16 to find the new mad. Three times because 48. And. Two times. Well, the only number that I have left here is A. So, MAD is A. One, four. Sean is res researching the daily fiber intake in the grams of, couple of, or of a group of people. His findings are listed below. Construct a histogram to display the data shown using four equally Sized intervals describe the overall pattern of the unit of the distribution. Okay, so from zero to nine. We're gonna start off here. We're gonna make from here to here zero to nine. Because you have to start at zero, first of all. And the you look at the smallest number we have here, nine. Highest number is what is it? Ten to nineteen, twenty to twenty-nine. I guess make them by nines. Thirty to thirty-nine. Four equally in four equal sized intervals. Nine. Okay. So from zero to nine, how many were there? Six, seven, eight, nine. Um, from zero to nine, how many numbers were there? One, only one. Here you go. From 10 to 19, how many numbers were there? One, two, three, four, five. So you go up to here. 20 to 29. You have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I missing one? Nine. Okay, come up to here. It's not the best graph. And then we have one, two, three numbers. From here to here. Now, distribution is symmetrical. Because I have one and then five. Then I have nine plus what? Three? It's twelve. Okay. Almost there. Does the mean or median best describe a typical value in the data set shown? Does the mean or the median? Hmm. The typical value in the data set shown. You would go with the median. Does the mean or median to best describe a typical value? The median. Neither. Okay. The dot plot shown this displays the heights and inches of the students in one class. Which measure of variability best describes how spread out, that's your range, the heights of the students are? 
how best to spread out they are? Well, that's the difference. Remember that we we're finding the difference between the two? The difference between the means. That's your mean absolute deviation. What measure best describes the variability of the deficit displayed using the dot plot shown? What measure here? Hmm. I would go with your interquartile range. In a box plot, the variability, the best, best variability here shown is your interquartile range. Which measure of center of center and variability best describes the data the data set shown? You can do the median. Can't use your you can find the mean. And then you can also go with your interquartile range, median, and your mean. Because if you line these up from least to greatest, you will find the medium and the, the different interquartile range. Good luck, guys. Hope this has helped.